All right, welcome in this video lecture. Um, in this video, of course, apa naman natin is um, basic foundation for MS. So, pagkita pa natin yung inyong renal function. So, focus muna tayo sa mga normals para ma-establish natin yung foundation nyo when we go to your medical surgical nursing. So, mga hindi po pumasa, sa board exam, baka kailangan nyo pumalikan ang inyong foundation. So, we're going to create uh, lectures focusing on your foundation. So, let's begin. In this uh, video, pag-uusapan natin is your Kavocho ko your Wengi Angiotensin Aldosterone system or in short we call this your RAS right so this is one of the function of your or initiated by your kidney that's why it's under renal function so ano po ba yung RAS okay so yung RAS po ninyo natitrigger po yan kung bumidiklis po yung renal perfusion Kung bumababa po yung blood flow sa inyong kidney, na i-stimulate po yung kidney na mag-release ng tinatawag na renin. Okay? So, your kidney releases substance called renin. So, ano function ng renin? Okay? So, in your blood vessel, the blood vessel, by default, contains a substance called, called angiotensinogen. Okay. Now, in our body, if a substance ends with gen, um, most of the time, it's inactive. For example, fibrinogen plus minogen, those substances are not active. Okay? So, same here, angiotensinogen, is an inactive substance but it is activated okay it is activated by renin so renin po ang magko-convert sa angiotensinogen sa kanyang active form which is your angiotensin 1 however angiotensin 1 is a weak it's a weak vasoconstrictor okay it's a weak vaso constrictor. So, kailangan po po niya niyang dumaan sa lungs kung saan makikita yung inyo tinatawag na ACE. ACE stands for your um, we call this your angiotensin angiotensin converting enzyme. So, located po yan sa lungs. So, ang gagawin ni ACE, ipoconvert po niya yung angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2, which is a stronger, okay? It's a stronger substance. Right, so ano pong gagawin ni angiotensin 2? Dalawa po ang kanyang magiging effect. Una, okay, it will cause vasoconstriction. Okay, so magpapromote po yan ng vasoconstriction. As a result, tataas po yung inyong blood pressure. Okay. Now remember, when um, RAS began when where there was a decrease um, renal perfusion. Isang reason bakit may decrease renal perfusion is due to shock. Okay. Kung meron kang shock, so um, pag, pag meron ang shock, tumigil na yung circulation ng blood, decrease ang blood flow sa kini. So, shock, as a one of the manifestations of shock is pagsak yung BP. So, ano yung response to sa pagbagsak ng BP? Na-activate yung raas. Tama? Ano yung end result ng raas? Tataas yung BP. And for raas is one of the compensatory mechanisms sa katawan to maintain blood pressure. So, tuwing mababa ang blood pressure sa katawan, sa result, mababa din ang blood flow sa kidney as a result, it will release the kidney renin, activating RAS. So, ang end product ng RAS is increasing BP. So, this is a compensatory mechanism of the kidney to maintain blood 
for now continuing and the tension to will um aside uh of being a vasoconstrictor it will also go to your adrenal gland pupunta po siya sa inyong adrenal gland at iutusan niya adrenal gland to release your aldosterone okay now saan pupunta ang aldosterone natin okay aldosterone in turn goes to the kidney and instruct the kidney to reabsorb sodium okay reabsorb sodium so ano yung dictum natin where sodium goes water follows so when you reabsorb sodium you will automatically reabsorb the water as a result so if, as you reabsorb sodium and water tataas din yung blood pressure mo. So, ang end result ng laas is increase in BP. Therefore, ang trigger ng laas is decrease in renal perfusion na nangyayari tuwing may condition sa atawan like shock kung saan mababa ang BP. So, yan po yung end result ng right now. I'm sure na rinig na po yung tinatawag din yung ACE inhibitor, right? Meron tayo tinatawag na ACE inhibitor, right? Okay. And another one is your your angiotensin angiotensin um, receptor blocker. Okay. Or ARBs. We call them your ARBs. Now, anong um, common sa dalawa ito? Both of them are considered anti-HPN. So, the exact mechanism of this drug, ano sila naging anti-HPN drug, is because of the RAAS. Tignan natin. Yung inyong ACE inhibitor will inhibit ACE. Therefore, ACE1 or angiotensin 1 will not be converted into angiotensin 2. Well, angiotensin 2, Walang vasoconstriction, walang aldosterone, walang sodium reabsorption, walang pagtaas ng BP. So, that's the mechanism of your ACE inhibitor. Now, additional information, since ACE is located in the lungs, ang target organ ng ACE inhibitor nasa lungs din. Kaya, isa sa mga side effect ng inyong ACE inhibitor is dry cup. Sa lungs sa pumupunta. Next, we have your angiotensin receptor blocker. So, binablock na basically yung inyong angiotensin. So, kung wala ka angiotensin, as a result, walang vasoconstriction, walang sodium reabsorption. So, hindi rin o napipigilan yung pagtaas ng BP. So, these are the mechanism of action of these two anti-HPN drugs. And these are, and their action is related to your renin angiotensin aldosterone. Again, I hope this video, uh, I hope you find this video helpful in preparation for your upcoming board exam. So, looking forward for more video lecture. Thank you.